Hi, this is Naveen Anjanappa. Let's start with today's question. One of my students who's done their CSM certification asked me this. Sir, I find it difficult to get my first job as a certified Scrum Master. I try to find a job as a breakthrough for Scrum Master job, but then I don't get any opportunities. I get frustrated and I end up giving up. Okay, let's try to address this. The first and foremost, for all the students who are getting through the Certified Scrum Master certification program from Scrum Alliance and you're looking for a first job as a Scrum Master, all you have to do is get into a context of Certified Scrum Master is certification for mastering Scrum. So as a Scrum Master, you should be first a Master of Scrum. Why people find it difficult to find their first job as a Scrum Master is because People try to end up finding a job with title Scrum Master rather than finding a responsibility of implementing Scrum or being a master of Scrum and demonstrating those qualities to the team members and the organization. Just imagine if you want to be a Scrum Master and if you are looking at the title Scrum Master to do the job of being a master of Scrum then obviously you will end up being disappointed because there are not many jobs with a title Scrum Master and they are looking to give you that job without any background experience for you. So what are you supposed to do? After CSM certification, that's a good point. You have started your journey to learn about Scrum. You have got certified. You have passed the test means you have minimum information, clarifications and the knowledge that is required to understand Scrum. Now, it is your time to implement Scrum within the teams and the organizations that you're working for. For all those people who are looking for Scrum Master as a breakthrough first job, my recommendation would be to implement Scrum that you have learned, practices that you have learned in the CSM certification program in your current teams, in your personal life, in your activities. Try to identify the sprint, work towards the common goal, identify the continuous improvement points, Implement what you have learned of inspect and adapting in a complex zone in your day-to-day -day activities even though your team or organization does not use Scrum. I think if your teams and organization does not use Scrum, that's the best place for you to be a Scrum Master. Think about it. I mean, who is going to give you a job profile saying that come get the job profile as a Scrum Master without any experience? Just imagine if you are hiring a maid for your house or a, for housekeeping and I apply for that job saying that I was working in software industry but I'm interested in doing a housekeeping work but I don't have any experience in this would you hire me no that is exactly the same thing that is happening with the organization why would somebody trust you and give you a scrum master job if you don't have an experience does that mean that nobody in the world is going to get a scrum master job as a first breakthrough no your approach to this job search should be different. First, you need to implement the learnings in your current teams. Enable your current existing teams to follow Scrum. Coach them or mentor them on how to implement Scrum. And that becomes your experience. To do all these things, you don't need to have a title Scrum Master. You can go ahead and do it without the title Scrum Master or the designation. In fact, in Scrum, Scrum Master is not even a job title. It is a responsibility. So take up the responsibility. Once you take up that responsibility, you will enjoy what you are doing, implementing Scrum within your teams, within your organization. Your internal management will start looking at your capabilities and probably they might give you an opportunity to implement it at a larger scale. Think about it. Now, for people who are looking for a job change and get into a Scrum Master, Yes, there are certain qualities as a Scrum Master you should have, which includes facilitation skills, coaching skills, mentoring and leadership aspect. Ask yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you stand in, in all of these skill sets? Do you know what is the responsibilities of a Scrum Master and what are the services of a Scrum Master to the team, organization, product owners and everybody involved? Experiment with that. And my tip for people who are looking for a job change, it could be with respect to finding a Scrum Master job or any domain change. You should always go with a three-step approach. The three-step approach is, the first step is your 
in the i am going to give you an example of a sinking boat and a lifeboat so if if the person is on a sinking boat and they want to move to the lifeboat how are you going to transform yourself or shift the first is step 1 you have both the legs on the sinking boat step 2 you have one leg on the sinking boat one leg on the lifeboat step 3 both the legs on the lifeboat that is the transition you have to supposed to do you cannot just jump so what does this mean when you are looking for a job change the first step is you go ahead find a job with your current capabilities current experiences that's your first step the second step is while you are changing for a job profile you go ahead look for the companies which value your current experiences but using scrum or any of the agile frameworks so now you join the organization which is using scrum but has the responsibility that you are currently working on and then once you get an experience of one or two years then you can go ahead and make a shift to the scrum master job or any particular domain area that you are looking at which means you need to have a transition period of one or two years gain the experience shift from one step to the other step and then finally make a transition but unfortunately people don't want to go through these steps they feel like there are people having a red carpet welcome them because they have done a certified scrum master certification no in fact there is a lot of expectations from you and on top of that there is a lot of myths in the industry about the scrum master job being a personal assistant job not so valuable and most of the companies think that the scrum master job is to organize a meeting and that can be done within the team so they expect some kind of a technical capabilities for you and if you are not demonstrating those skills probably the hiring manager don't even value you as a scrum master position there i mean that is their problem unfortunately you are finding it hard to land in the scrum master job then you go ahead focus on three step approach to finding a scrum master position transition slowly take a period of 1 to 2 years and then only transform it does not happen overnight the second try to apply your learnings from the scrum master certification in your day to day activities in your personal life and also ensure that you are coaching and mentoring your existing company teams and the organization in fact i got married using scrum my whole wedding was planned using scrum think over do you want to get a job with the title scrum master or do you want to get a job where you are a master of scrum and teach coach mentor people on scrum implementation if so it can start right from your current company i know finding a first job as a scrum master is difficult i know it gets frustrated but if your approach is not to apply practices and practicing these learnings in your current organizations or three step approach you will never end up in a scrum master profile i hope i have given you a lot of thoughts to think over if you have any specific questions please feel free to put that in your comments and if you were to find a first scrum master job and you were successful how was it what did you do put that into our comment section i'll be happy to look at how did you achieve your first job as a scrum master and what did you follow thank you so much this is navin anjunapa signing off see you again for another video post your questions so that we can answer it as regularly as possible thank you so much